Hello, secret agents and reading spies. Maz Evans here, author of Who Let the Gods Out and my brand new series, Vice Spy, which I hope you are going to want to investigate. Vice Spy is inspired by two things in my life. One, I love spy films! I love spy films! I hope that you guys do too. And secondly, like all of my books, a little bit of something that happened to me, because my parents got divorced when I was a little girl, and actually my children are the product of a divorced family as well. And I don't know if it's something that's touched your family, but you probably know somebody who has, and it can be a really difficult time. So I wanted to write a book to say, it's gonna be okay. However much of a Herbert your parents are behaving like at the moment, it all works out well, I promise you. Now, now, through these films we are going to explore some secret spy missions and try and get you all into Rimmington Hall. But that made me think about what would my secret spy skills be? And I realised my secret spy skill is my brilliant hearing. You ask my children. I can hear a device going on five rooms away, I kid you not. What do you think your secret spy skills might be? Why don't we find out? <laughs> Right, reading spies, your mission is on. In each of these films, I'm going to read you a little extract from my book. And what I want you to do is look for the clues underneath the text. Look for what's going on that I don't tell you directly and see how many things you can spot. Because when we read often, a lot of things are going on beneath the surface, and that's the real information that we need to find. Also, super, super spy skill. So I want you to look out for the clues. In each film, I'm gonna give you particular things that I want you to look out for, like a game of I Spy, but way cooler, off. Uh, in this video, I would like you to look out for three things. One, the name of the spy school that Vi wants to go to. Number two, what is the name of the secret organisation that Easter and Indy both belonged to when they were spies? And number three, what's your favourite word or phrase and what does that tell you about my books or my characters? Are you ready? Reading Spies, your mission is on. <laughs> So now is the time for me to read you a little extract from Vice Spy, and I want you to look out for all of those clues. Now the piece I'm going to read you comes right at the beginning of the novel, from chapter one, when Vi discovers the existence of Rimmington Hall, the spy academy that all good spies go to. But it turns out her mum and her nan have different opinions about her destiny. Have a listen and see what you can pick up. Well, thank heavens it's finally out in the open, said Nan. Now Vi can go to Rimmington Hall. What's that? Vi asked. Rimmington Hall Espionage Academy, said Nan with a twinkle. Secondary school for spies. To get in, you need to complete a successful mission. Your mother saved seven hostages from a bank raid when she was your age, using only a catapult and a Barbie doll. All the greats go to Rimmington Hall. Spy school. That sounds awesome, Vi enthused. How do you get a mission? You need to find one, Nan whispered gleefully. No, snapped Easter. Vi is going to St Michael's Comprehensive, not that place. Don't be absurd, scoffed Indy. Valentine comes from a long line of great spies going right back to the days of the Underground Railroad in 19th century America. Mother Sunday spied undercover as a nurse in World War I. My mother, Christmas Day, used her singing career to spy all over Europe in World War II. I was the first black woman to be recruited by Spider. You were the youngest. Spying is in our blood, however hard some of us try to deny it. No, Easter interrupted. I am sick of explaining this to you, Mum. That life is over. None of my business, said Nan breezily, going back to her crossword. I'll keep my opinions to myself. I'm telling you, I'm done. Easter insisted. Denial, Nan said. It's not denial, Easter barked. It is, Nan replied with a wicked twinkle in her eye. Fifteen across, a statement that something is not true. Nan was the only person who dared to speak to Mum like this. I loved it. Choice, said Nan, squinting at the crossword. Five down, the right or ability to make up one's own mind. 
I'm just trying to keep you safe, sweetheart, Easter said more gently, holding Vi's hand. You are my everything. One day you'll understand. Impossible, said Nan. Eleven across. Not able to occur, exist, or be done. And going to Rimmington Hall would set you on a path that, trust me, you don't want to follow, Easter continued. Destiny, Nan announced, looking straight at Easter. Sixteen down. The events that will necessarily happen to a person or events in the future. It's not happening, said Easter decisively. Valentine will not be a spy. Idiot, said Nan. Will you put that crossword down, Easter snapped, snatching the paper from her mother's hand. That one wasn't in the crossword, smirked Indy, winking at Vi. I'm trying to save her life, Easter whispered. Then you need to let her have one, Indy whispered back. There was a tense silence. Vi considered doing her homework. After all, she needed to work hard if she was going to Rivington Hall. And she was going to Rivington Hall. <laughs> So let's get straight to it. Did you catch the name of the spy school that Vi wants to go to? Hold on, you're coming through on the spy cam. Yes, it's Remington Hall. Well done, you. Did you catch the name of the secret organisation that Easter and Indy belonged to when they were spies? It's a bit louder and whacked me ears this morning. Spider, that's the one. Well done, you're going great. Now, I don't know about you, but my favourite phrase in that passage comes when I say that Nan has a wicked twinkle in her eye. I like to think I've got a wicked twinkle in my eye, and I hope you do too. It tells us that Indy's a little bit naughty and she likes to have fun. What else did you notice in that passage? Did you notice, for instance, that the whole way through, Indy was doing a crossword? What does that tell us about her? It tells us that she's good at solving clues. It tells us that she's very clever. The way she uses the crossword tells us that she's a little bit naughty. And it tells us that sometimes she really likes to wind Easter up. What did you find in there? What did you find that you liked or told you a little bit more? What did you find out about Vi's family? What did you think about Easter, her mum? What's her deal and what's going on with her? And what is it that Vi wants more than anything in the world? Keep looking for those clues, reading spies. Your mission is nearly over. Okay, spies, you are doing great. In no time, you will be going to Rivington Hall with Fi. But before then, I've got another mission for you. I want you to think about your own family. Where do you think the spies or maybe the villains, are hidden in your family. I want you to draw your own spy family tree, thinking about your family, what their secret spy names would be, what their cool secret spy skills might be, and I want you to put it in your top secret spy file. Maybe you need to decorate that file to make it just like you. Maybe you need to camouflage it so nobody knows what it is. But keep it up to date. I will be back with another mission before long. Until then, stay chill. This is Maz HQ, over and out. Mm -hmm.